excuse me. Place to <laughs> the hotel gave me a room that was so small, every time I closed the door, the knock got in and bed with me. And you know how cold those brass doorknobs are on a winter night. I had so many planks. Good afternoon. Bed, I had Good afternoon. Off to find a place to get Have a nice trip? You know, I got so yes, cold. Yes, thank you. Four o'clock in the morning. I got up in the middle Quite of a morning. story you have here, Mr. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Potter. That's me. <laughs> we shove about the everything rats. here. Two of them started fighting. <laughs> This suitcase, I could leave it here. There's a bag on. Oh, yeah, I don't assume no responsibility. Just put it up on the shelf. It'll be there when you want it. That'll be a time, mister. What's the uh, best hotel in town? Best place to stay down Miss Peabody's. It's just down the road here, Peace. This way, mister. Yes, thank you. I may come in? Yes, of course. Does Mr. Charles Rankin live here? Yes, he does, but he isn't here right now. You expect him? Yes, in a few minutes. How soon? Well, a few minutes. I may... <clears throat> I may wait here. Well, yes, if you like. Would you like to sit down? Thank you. You a friend of Mr. Rankin's? Yes, a friend. Uh, I'm Mary Longstreet. How do you do? How do you do? Rankin ought to be here now. Sometimes he stays after his last class, but he'll be coming straight here today, I'm sure. Because this is our wedding day. You're getting married? Yes, at 6 o'clock. 
I know it's most unconventional, my being here today, but I want to get these curtains up. When he comes, which way does he come? My, uh, from uh, Web Webster Hall. It's, it's the big dome building right over there, you see? I shall meet him. Well, who shall I say that could... be seen talking together. Go back to the church, into the woods, into the woods, you understand me? Follow the path. I'll meet you there. Hello, Professor Rankin. Hello, Hello man. Rankin. What are you up to? Paper chase. Oh, paper chase. I go ahead and lay the trail. You ought to have Jerry's job, Mr. Rankin. Take a little off that waistline. <laughs> no, you ought to go with us, Mr. Rankin. Well, where to? The Hi, woods. Blondie. Oh, buzzard. The woods? Well, I, I'd like to. I'm afraid I have a couple of things to attend to. Well, join us later. We'll be out till dark. All right. Oh, we'll catch up with you. Yes, my Nicky. I thought I had been hanged. Hmm. The others, but not I. A dead man could not stand face to face with you, friends. You're not much changed. But you're back in your old uniform. You look very much the same. Franz, I am a different man than before. I too. I too am different, Conrad. I... You know how I gathered and destroyed every single item in Germany and Poland that might have served as a clue to my identity? Well, guess what I'll be doing at 6 o'clock tonight? Standing before a minister of the gospel with a woman's hand in mine, the daughter of a justice of the United States Supreme Court, a famous liberal. The girl's even good to look at. Yes, the camouflage is perfect. Who would think to look for the notorious Franz Kindler in the sacred precincts of the Harper School, surrounded by the sons of America's first families? And I'll stay hidden the day when we strike again. France. There will be another war? Of course. War is an abomination, says the Lord. It is to tell you this that I am here. He set me free that I set might you come free. here and tell. Who set tell you this free? To you. The all highest. You don't mean? I mean God. I'm a new man since I found you. You, Conrad, a religious.